Hey everybody, it's Zach from My Shire Farm, and today we're going to be talking about Caternix quail, but kind of in a different way. I'm actually going to get a little personal with you today, which I haven't done before, so it makes me a little uncomfortable, uh, but I really do think that it might help a few people, and, uh, and I'm willing to do it. So, I want you to hang in there, but... We do have a lot of great videos coming your way. We've got a best practices video coming your way. I just got my beehive in, so we'll be installing that uh, and putting that together. We're gonna be painting or staining. I haven't fully decided yet. We've got some experts coming your way uh, on things that I can't really talk about. Um, so we've got a lot of great stuff coming your way. So I hope you subscribe because I really do think that the videos coming up are really going to help you on your journey with not just Caternix Quail, but self-sufficiency in general. Uh, and gardening is right around the corner and we're really going to get involved with that this year as well. Uh, so I'm very excited about it. But today, today we're going to be talking about Caternix quail in a personal way. Uh, I'm going to tell you my experience and why quail are so special and important to me. Uh, and I think that some of you might be able to relate. Some of you might be able to understand what I'm saying. And uh, I hope that it helps. So here we go. So we moved to the farm uh, about 12 years ago, and my wife grew up uh, kind of in the country, and she had pigs and chickens and this and that, and I grew up uh, in the city. I grew up in the concrete jungle, you know? Um, I'm a city boy through and through, and uh, I, re I, I had a dog growing up that I didn't even really take care of. My mom did. Uh, so I had no experience, right? So we moved to the farm, and uh, she was full force. My wife was full force, ready to go as soon as we got here. So the first thing we did was garden. I don't know if you can tell, but uh, yeah, I don't have green thumbs. Um, it was just not for me. The planning and the long extra work and not seeing results for quite some time. And it just wasn't for me. Now, I talked to my wife about this uh, video, the concept of this video, and she's like, well, you didn't even try. And I said, but, but, but I did. It just wasn't for me. I just don't get it. It's just not in my wheelhouse. So I'm very happy that people do garden because we need it, right? Um, but it just, it's not for me. So I'm very happy that my wife completely disagrees with me and she's great at it. Um, it's just not for me. So it kind of discouraged me because I'm just not very good at it. I don't have the patience for it, this, that, and the other. So she said, okay, well, let's try the next project. I said, okay. So we got pigs and cows. Okay. Well, they're a great source for self-sufficiency. Uh, our cows are completely grass-fed. Um, and we've butchered here on the farm numerous times, pigs and cows. Uh, it's really cool to raise your own meat. That's really awesome. But that's a big step from coming to the city to a homestead. Um, and I really was interested on trying to do it. It just, it wasn't for me. Like it, it was just too much. Uh, so then Jenna was like, all right, well, let's do a dairy cow. So we got a dairy cow. That is a lot of work, everybody. Uh, it's great to have. I'm not, I'm not dissing it at all. But again, I just didn't have the experience or the knowledge or even the, the mindset to be self-sufficient in this manner. So for years, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna work 67 hours, 60 to 70 hours outside of the house. I'm going to support whatever you wanna do and you do your thing because I'm just not good at it. And we did that for years. And, um, and then we got quail and everything changed. And, and this is the point that I wanna get to. So I hope you're, you've stayed with me. To me, Quail were so amazing to raise, so easy, so fast. You got results almost immediately. Um, you know, you're getting egg production within six to eight weeks, sometimes five weeks. Uh, the turnaround time to put eggs in to hatch out is like two weeks, a little bit over. Uh, butchering is super simple. It's even something that I could learn to do very quickly. And, uh, and I just, I was like, I can do this, right? So it built my confidence and it grew the desire I had to be more self-sufficient. And I really thought, you know what? I can do this. Um, so we turned it into a business, but more importantly than that, it changed my lifestyle. 
And what I mean by that is this year I'm getting into bees. I'm going to do it all by myself. Uh, we're getting into meat rabbits. I'm going to get more involved with uh, the greenhouse. Um, and so it's transitioning my urban lifestyle, my city jungle lifestyle to, you know what, I think I, think I can do all this. Uh, so we're going to try to butcher our, our, my first pig this year. Uh, now, they've done it before. I mean, they've been running this farm, and I've pretty much just been like, I'll take care of the quail, everybody, <laughs> you know? But this year, I'm getting more and more involved. So that is why Coternix quail is so important to me and why I have such a passion to get the word out there about Coternix quail because it's such an easy transition from Coternix quail to, you know what, maybe I can do a little bit more and maybe I can do it a little bit more. Um, so it really is a gateway to becoming more self-sufficient and changing your entire lifestyle. Um, and so that is why it is so important to me. I've done videos before about the self-sufficient quail and why quail is the new chicken and this, that, and the other uh, that you can check out. And that's more of fact-based. Um, you know, it, it's about egg laying, it's about this, it's about that. But I really wanted to share the whole mindset behind why I love Coternix quail and why I think everybody should have them. Um, so I hope that that helped. It was a little personal as far as my backstory goes. Um, and uh, it's, I'm a little embarrassed, I guess I could say, uh, that I don't really know how to garden and I would not be able to butcher by myself as far as a pig or, or a cow goes. Uh, and we've done it multiple times. It's just, it's not been in my wheelhouse, but I can tell that there's a, a change in my mindset uh, by raising quail for a while now that I go, I can do this if I just apply myself. Um, and I think that there is a ton of people out there that just don't know that it's this simple to get started. And that's why quail are so amazing. It's great to get started with, uh, which is our motto. It's the first step in self-sufficiency. Uh, and it's also great to add on because it doesn't take very much time and you get great results so quickly. Uh, so hopefully that helps. Let me know your story in the comments. I'd love to know why you raise quail, um, but I hope that that helped and uh, let me know what you think and uh, stay tuned because I really do have some great videos coming your way. We'll see you guys. Thanks.